Okay, so Empedocles is, you know, let's look through, let's look at some options, right? He's not trying to bring together what? Um, Parmenides and Zeno, right? He's not doing that. Parmenides and Zeno agree with each other. Remember, Zeno's trying to back up Parmenides here. He's not trying to bring together Anaximander and Anaximenes. Uh, you know, those two, they actually disagree with each other, but that would be trying to combine the finite with the infinite, which just isn't possible. That's conceptually impossible. Uh, he's not trying to bring together something like Pythagoras and Heraclitus. I mean, that'd be an interesting project, but it, you know, that would be to bring together somehow form and unity. And they don't necessarily disagree with each other. <laughs> uh, or rather, he's trying to bring together Parmenides and Heraclitus. Now remember, Parmenides is trying to give an account of reality and, and where it's fundamentally unchanging, it's permanent. And this is very appealing, uh, especially to the Greek mind. <clears throat> the reality at its bottom is unchanging and it's permanent. It's not just going to wisp away. At the same time, he wants to accommodate what Heraclitus has to say. I mean, he buys into Heraclitus' projects. So, yeah, there's change. There's lots of change. Yeah. So he's still he's trying to account for change even though there's something permanent and unchanging about reality. So, you know, this is kind of a trick, right? You can't be, something can't be both changing and unchanging in the same way. Okay, so how does he try to keep Parmenides? Well, he's going to say that Parmenides is right about the one. <laughs> Except that there's not just one one, there's many ones. Uh, and there's four different kinds of ones. Um, fire ones, er water ones, earth ones, and, and uh, air ones, right? Or particles, right? He says there are these ones... They're permanent. They themselves are unchanging. And right? so the fire particle is always a fire particle. It doesn't turn anything else. Uh, it doesn't go in and out of existence, nothing like that. These permitting ones, these particles, for the four elements are unchanging. That's how he thinks he keeps permitities. He thinks he's able to keep Heraclitus by saying, but at the same time, there is something that's changing, and it's objects. Objects change. They come in and out of existence. They, come, they go out of existence, right? Uh, and what objects are are combinations of the particles. The particles are unchanging. The objects are. <laughs> the objects do change. Uh, depending on combinations of earth, wind, fire, and water, you get different kinds of particles around us. Right. So that's, I think, that's, that's the two views he's trying to put together. Parmenides with the unchanging and Heraclitus with the change.